In this video, we're going to be using substitution parameters in a template attribute. Our exercise objective is to assemble substitution parameters to automatically map data archive tags to AF attributes. Velocity terminals will be buying other facilities in the next few months where multiple tanks are present. They are going to implement the same tag naming convention at those locations and will want to save time when adding those extra assets to the actual AF hierarchy. They want to use substitution parameters to speed up the creation of additional assets in AF. To demonstrate that this is feasible, you are asked to add a new temperature attribute template to the tanks template so that it uses substitution parameters to automatically find the correct PI tag. To assist in simplifying tag creation, you plan to set up a table as a lookup reference for the sites. Originally, when we created the hierarchy, we hard-coded the locations and the elements. Now that we are expanding, it is easier to create a table reference for the locations. On your virtual machine, in this, on the C drive, in the OSI soft folder, there is a spreadsheet named Site Table. This spreadsheet will be imported into a new table called Site Table. To create a new table, go to Library and then Tables, right click and select New Table. Under the General tab, name the table Site Table. At this time, we'll not define the table. We're going to rely on the spreadsheet to create and populate the table. Select Import to build the connection to the spreadsheet. Select Build. On the Provider tab, select the provider according to the version of Microsoft Office that you're using. In our case, you're going to select Microsoft Office 12.0 Access Database Engine OLEDB Provider and then click Next. On the Connection tab, specify the following and click OK. For the data source, we're going to input the location of the file that we will be using. Linking is not something that we recommend to an Excel spreadsheet. It can open up your server to vulnerabilities. So you're strictly going to want to import the information. On the Advanced tab, in the Access Permissions list, select Share deny none. On the All tab, select the Extended Properties value and click Edit Value. The Edit Properties value window opens, and in this case we're using Excel that is higher than 2007. We're going to enter Excel 12.0. Now navigate back to the Connection tab and click Connection to verify the spreadsheet is successful. You should receive a valid response of test connection succeeded. Click OK to dismiss the window. Now you need to define how to populate the table. To define the data to be returned from the spreadsheet, enter a SQL query in the query field. In this case, we're pulling all the data from sheet 1. So it selects star from open bracket, sheet 1, dollar sign, close bracket. To review the resulting data, examine the table. If the query is specified correctly, the tab contains a table displaying the results. To save your changes, right-click the table node or access from the top menu and choose check-in. Now, we're going to create a new template called Site. So navigate to the elements in the library and create a new template. Now that you have created a new template called Site, create an attribute named Site ID in the Site template. We created a table named Site Table that we're going to use to identify each site in order to populate the site ID attribute. Set the type to int16. 
Set the data reference to Table Lookup. Open the settings to instruct the lookup how to find or identify the site ID associated with the location. We're going to enter a statement to access the database. It's going to be select site ID from the site table where site equals the element. Check in the site template. Now the temperature attribute can be completed. Navigate back to the tank template. Navigate to the attribute tab and add a new attribute named temperature. Use substitution parameters so that the tag names are automatically built according to the expected tag naming convention. There's two options that exist for creating the PyPoint syntax. One is directly from the PyPoint data reference, and the other one is using the string builder. There's slight difference in the way the substitution parameters work in the PyPoint data reference in the syntax builder. In this case, we're going to use the PyPoint data reference. Once that information is inputted, check in the changes. To validate our setup, navigate to the elements, velocity terminals, locations, and then Montreal. Now right click to display the context menu and then select change template. From the choose element template display, select site. Repeat this process for Sydney and Tokyo. Check in the changes. Validate the temperature attribute is displaying values by browsing the tanks. You will notice that there are several values for the temperature and the Pi point resolved to the site number, element name, plus ts.pv. We have successfully built a attribute using substitution parameters.